What do you do if you can't attack a target using a conventional pattern because weather or threats force you to low altitude? The Air Force's answer is to use the tactical pattern. In this video, we'll go over that pattern in detail. The tactical pattern is sometimes called a pop or a pop-up attack. This is a pattern that you would use whenever weather or air defense threats force you to ingress the target at low altitude. The premise being that you fly in at low altitude and you wait to commit to a dive attack until the last possible moment when you're near the target. Doing this, you give any potential ground defenses the minimum amount of time to shoot at you. After you do your pull-up, everything is exactly the same as it was in the conventional pattern. If you haven't already, I recommend you go back and watch part 3 of this series, which covers the conventional pattern in depth. There's an optional component you can add to your tactical pop-up attack called an action point. The action is a turn made before a specific distance from the target to create an offset prior to rolling in. That offset can help you to visually acquire the target before you roll in, and it can also make the job of the defenders on the ground a little bit more difficult when they're trying to shoot you down. The major changes between the tactical pattern and the conventional pattern all lay in the base leg. Instead of starting at your base altitude, you're going to approach the pop-up point at 500 feet AGL. You start your climb by sitting military power and executing a 3G pull-up. Let your wingman know that you've started the pull-up by saying, call sign up. The angle of your climb can vary. But for most cases, you want to do 10 degrees above your planned dive angle. So if you're going to dive at a 30 degree angle, you want to climb at a 40 degree angle. Now before you reach your apex altitude, you'll want to roll over, visually acquire your target, and start your pull down. Let's take a look at what happens if you don't go and start your pull down before you reach your apex altitude. So here we are climbing towards an apex altitude of 7,000 feet, but we're holding our pull down until 7,000. Now you can see we're still climbing. And we don't start losing altitude until we're almost 9,000 feet in the air. That's over 2,000 feet above our planned apex. Being over 2,000 feet above your planned dive altitude is really going to throw off your aim. So make sure you start that pull down before you hit your apex. We'll be heading back to the Batumi range to demonstrate the tactical pattern. If you'd like to follow along, the mission file is available. Link is in the description. The targets for our tactical pop-up are going to be the same as what we used when we did the conventional pattern. Instead of running down the coast like we did before, we're going to use this column of ships to line up our base leg. You'll notice that there's an oil platform at the end of our ships. We'll be using that as our pull-up point. Now let's put it all together and see it in action. When you're planning a tactical attack, there's several math formulas that you will use to go and figure out where your pull-up point is at. But there's obviously a lot to unpack in there, so we're going to save the details of those formulas for a future video. Today we'll use this oil platform that's been placed at the correct distance for us already. Remember, we want to be at 500 feet AGL for this, and a good speed for this profile in the F5 is about 550 knots indicated. When we reach our planned pull-up point, we want to put our engines in mill power and then pull back on the stick until we're at a 40 degree climb. And remember that we're climbing at 40 degrees because that's 10 degrees more than our 30 degree dive angle. With our apex altitude at 7,000 feet, we'll want to go and roll over and start our pull down at around 5,000 feet. At this point, you should be visually acquiring your target and rolling out on final. Everything else is just like it was on the conventional pattern. Now, if you want to build some offset before you make your roll in on the target, you can make one quick turn before you execute your pull up. This quick turn is known as the action. To perform this quick turn, select military power and execute a 3 to 4 G level turn for the appropriate amount of roll before executing your pull up. 
After that, everything is exactly the same. In this video, we went over the two ways that you can fly the tactical pattern, either with or without an action. If you want to practice the tactical pattern yourself, you can do so by downloading the mission linked in the description. Thanks for watching.